Hi, this is Mario Knapp, and welcome back. Uh, today we went to Maskell's Mill Pond in New Jersey. Uh, we'd been there before this past summer. It was one of the mill, pound, uh, mill ponds we visited uh, in New Jersey this year. We we're going to go to Knoxentown, but uh, Herman's friend went there yesterday and got skunked. So uh, Knoxentown is usually pretty good in the, in the fall. So we're hoping to uh, get that hit that spot before I head back to Florida. But maybe it's still a little too warm yet uh, from the hot summer we had. And, um, but we'll be there before too long. So um, today I caught 10, uh, 8 fish, 6 bass, and 2 bluegill. Herman caught 10. He caught 5 bass, 3 pickerel, and 2 bluegill. So um, now I caught, I'm sorry, I caught 6 bass, 1 pickerel, and 1 bluegill. So uh, between the two of us, we had 18 fish. Not Nothing real big today, I'm not sure. Exactly. We're, this, fit, this pond doesn't really have a lot of big fish, um, although I do know of a 20-incher that was caught about eight years ago. Uh, but it was a good day. We, uh, the weather was absolutely magnificent. Uh, we started out at 57 degrees, a little chilly, but um, it warmed up to about 72, very little wind. The water was almost like a sheet of glass at the very end. So, I mean, you can't, you can't get better days than, yes, uh, than today. It was, just, it was just wonderful out there. And... Um, it was about a 45-minute drive, so that's the only negative about this pond for me. But anyway, stay tuned, and I'll show you which uh, baits work today. It was a worm kind of day, so stay tuned. All right. So we're back at Maskell Mill Pond. And got a drop shot. <clears throat> wasn't planning on coming here. We're going to go to Knoxentown, but Herman's friend got skunked in Knoxentown yesterday, so we decided to come here. And I put this together for Knoxentown, actually. But I'll try it here, the deeper water. So, I'm not going to use this. Probably shouldn't have taken it with me. You can see the uh, fog on the water. I don't know what the temperature is. But I think this is going to be one of these days I'm going to be looking for the sun. God, it's cold. Well, I broke the ice. Not much of a fish, but at least it's a fish. It's a brim. And I forget what these are called. Well, I'm glad I got something. Oh, caught a nice little bass on a worm. Caught him on a um, red red bug finesse worm. And that's a good sign because I'd like to throw this around a lot of trees and stuff where I can't throw a treble hook.
Oh, I got another one. Oh, this looks like it'll be a warm kind of day, huh? He's cleaning up my boat. Little muddy guy, huh? Literally cleaned up my boat. I had a lot of mud in it from last week. I didn't clean it out, which I will do after the uh, fishing today. Okay, it's two, two bass on worms. I haven't caught fish on worms in I don't know how long. Two, um, Red bug finesse worm. It's a lot of uh, laydowns. Here. And a lot of places where fish can hide under trees. I'll fish this little area here in the sun. I'm gonna head to the back. That's where I caught a lot last time. And it's in the sun. I need to warm up a little bit. Over there somewhere. Rescued. Luckily it's cold, so they don't get affected by being out. The colder it is, the longer you can keep them out of water. Because their metabolism is slowed down. Well, everything back where it belongs. Let's try not to do that again. And another one, another small bass. Boy, a lot of tiny ones here. Oh, barely hooked. Barely hooked. Little guy, fourth bass, little, but fun to catch. Again, this is uh, really going after this June bug, um, red bug, finesse worm. Another bass, right on the shoreline. And this red bug, finesse worm, seems to be the trick today. Oh, it's a pickle, it's a pickle. I thought it was a bass, but it's right on the, oh. There you go, self-service, got him off the hook. Show you what he looks like. 
Oh, good. Drop him in. You ready? There we go. Red bug finesse worm. This is uh, right on the shoreline over there. It's too shallow. It's only like two feet deep. There's a lot of, a lot of, whoa. Oh, I just got it. I just got one. Oh, sh A bass just nailed it, taking it, I was pulling it to the boat. Yeah, bass. I was just, I was just reeling it in to the, uh, jumped right out of the water and grabbed it. Little guy, though. They're all pretty small here. Okay, my, uh, remote kind of disconnects from my both GoPros. And so I just caught another bass with a small one. I'm not sure exactly why it's doing that, so I just have to restart the remote. It's happened now the last two times. Looks like the battery's fine. We'll see what happens. I have to get a new remote. I switched to a uh, June bug. Uh, yum, um, yum dinger. And this. Just caught me one on like the second cast. So keep this, this one's easier to cast. And I think it sinks a little faster. I have weights I could use for these, but I don't feel like putting it on right now. This water is so calm, I could still see your kayak trail when you came around here before. Yeah, I'm going to have to reset this video, this camera, when I get home. Do a hard reset. It automatically, on its own, goes into uh, burst mode. That's not good. And it just starts taking, what, 30, 40, 50 photos. The water is lower than it was the last time, but I think I still have to slouch down a little bit. Yeah, it's definitely uh, shall, uh, not as deep. Okay, I don't know if I, you saw me change my uh, bait. I put a swim bait on. I haven't sw used the swim bait since we got here. And, and Put, oh, I thought it stuck out. I caught it on a, I mean, I put a, a lead weight on it, in it. Nail weight. Make it easier to cast and let it go a little lower in the water column. It looks good. A lot of action. Herman, I don't think any. I don't think the days get any better than this. In terms of weather. What'd you wind up with? Uh, I five bass, four pickle, one yellow. 
I had six bass, one pickerel, and one uh, panfish. It wasn't a bluegill, it was something else. I gotta look it up. It's got vertical stripes on it. It wasn't a, uh, it wasn't a yellow perch though. So I'm gonna go back under and use the ramp. I had it in. Okay. 